church, we're going to read in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Uh, let's just hear what God has to say to us. God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from the beginning to the end. So I concluded, this is the author, King Solomon, saying, So I concluded, there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor. For these are gifts from God. And I know that whatever God does is final. Nothing can be added to it or taken from it. God's purpose is that people should fear him. Now, as we listen to the writings in the scripture here and the challenge to us, it's, man, everybody knows they're eternal. Everybody does. You know that. It's planted in our heart. God did that. We know we're going to live forever. And with that, though, there comes this unreal knowledge of what that fully means. And it's right there. And it's like, oh, man, you know, God has, he is so amazing and so beyond our comprehension. And the fact that he's made us eternal, what in the world is in the future for us? We know that it's good with God, but as long as we're walking with him, but it's still kind of like unimaginable and unreal to us. This is what we know. And this is what King Solomon was bringing our attention to with the unknown of the future and all that God has planned for us. We should make sure that we pause and thank God for today and celebrate and live our life as happy human beings, man. Now, I'm not saying like there's not hard things going on, of course. But, you know, we should be celebrating and enjoying what God has given to us. He created us to enjoy life. Enjoy it to the full. We don't have no idea how many days we have left here on this planet. None of us do. Even when doctors tell us they know that, you know, we have X amount of time, they don't really know that time. There's a window and people live shorter, longer, or in that time frame, we don't know. What we do know is that we have today. And if you're hearing my voice, God has given you today. Enjoy it. Enjoy it to the full with him, for him, and share him with others. Can we just be filled with the joy that God's given to us and be a church that people see as experiencing the fullness of life that Jesus came to bring us. Let's do it, church. God bless you today.